dovetail. Um, so we're going to do it back to front. We're starting upstairs um, and then we will show you downstairs. So we're using a new builder on this one. They're doing things a little bit different to what we normally do in that downstairs is still very much a building site, but up here is all decorated. So um, upstairs is looking like, you know, really good. And obviously downstairs looks um, still like there's a long way to go sort of thing. So yeah, there's, this room is painted. Um, I think there's a few plug points that still need to be put in there. This room is also painted. Obviously, the flooring's been kept down this whole time, so um, that's, been, that's down, protected. There's still think, some... They must have been in today. It smells like paint. Yeah, it smells really painty in here, so we're trying not to touch any walls because we don't want to get paint all over us. This windowsill looks like it's just been done as well. So be careful with your, your coat. Yeah. Um, so there's a few things that need to be done here. So like this, the um, draw front and the door fronts need to have like a, a film put over them so they, they get rid of the kind of ingrained bit and they just be flush so it looks a bit more modern. There's a few little bits to do in here. Not much is going on in the bathroom. So again, it's sort of just as it is. We'll have to be cleaned up when the time comes. Yeah. Cool. Door. New door. Matching. Yeah, new doors everywhere. All this one painted. So this bit's a bit more exciting because this is where stuff has actually like really changed. So again, obviously it's been decorated. Um, mm. I don't think you can see in here, but so in here, um, it's obviously had almost the full-on suite. So we've had all the tiling put in, if you can see all of this, so all the showers being put in, obviously the pipe work from there, this is the basin and the toilet's going to go there, and then if you can see as well that the flooring's been put down, so this is the LVT flooring under here, so that's the new flooring um, that we've picked to go on with this. Um, just put all the stuff on the floor, don't want stuff on, just yeah. been here. Just been here. <laughs> um, <coughs> excuse me. So. Yes, that's basically in here. Um, I'll show you next door. So this is one where we've built the wall out and this now houses the um, ensuite. This room's this room. Floor, floor footprint sort of is pretty much the same as next door, but um, obviously because we've got this walkway for the door, actually you get a full rectangle rather than having to accommodate a door in one corner, so we have to get to use the room much better than next door. And it's got a big L suite, so we've got a thousand wide here um, for everything to fit in. Come right in. So it's actually, this is actually the skinniest shower we've ever done. So it's a thousand wide, but it's 760 deep. Um, so yeah, we're hoping that this is going to be big enough. Turn the camera on. I think it should be like, because I'm wearing a big coat, it's, it's tight. Don't you think? But the thing is, even at our shower home, you just, just stand sideways, you know? Are you doing a nice demo there or washing your hair? Yeah. There we go. So yeah, so that's um, the upstairs, which is looking a bit more like a house. So now we're going to show you the building site downstairs. So this is the front bedroom. So you see the ensuite has been tiled and whatnot. As you can see, this is a really nice big shower in here. So we've got 900 across and 1,000 deep. So it's um, not normally obviously you have the, the wider side to enter, but this obviously the way that the room is, we had a lot of depth, but not so much width. So we've got a really deep shower, but yeah, it's going to be really nice and big shower basically. Well, you can definitely fit in that one. <laughs> um, so now, now we show you to the next bit. Not a lot to show you in there because that room we're not doing anything to other than repainting and a couple of bits of electrical work but um, yeah it's almost just a storeroom at the moment so you can see new doors everywhere and then this is obviously the kitchen dining lounge area so where all of this kitchen all these kitchen units at the moment that's where the sofa is going to go and um, so it's going to be the lounge sort of snug bit 
where I'm standing is going to be where the dining table is and then the kitchen is pretty much all of that space over there and then a bit more, a, a few extra units along there to meet the, the, to meet the amenity quota. We've had to put, I think it's seven units over there. They're all half depth units. Um, so yeah, just to sort of meet standards there. But yeah, basically it's going to be a really nice kitchen. We've got all the tall, all the tall units are going to fit in this little nook here. And then we've got the cooking area and obviously all the water um, appliances along here. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a really nice use of space. It's kind of like an open plan. You know, I think it will work well, it being all together, because although it's open plan, you've still got like sections. Um, so that's the update here from Dovedale. We will see you next time. Hope you enjoyed that. Bye.